Hello and welcome back to the course on our programming. And the first question you probably have on your mind right now is, Kirill, why is there a huge timer right in the middle of the screen? Well, I'll tell you. The reason for this timer is that I am super excited about you taking this course. And I want to get you excited about taking this course, completing it, and finally mastering our programming. And in order to do that, I'm going to illustrate what a powerful tool R is and what amazing insights you can derive with some, just some basic knowledge of R in under seven minutes. So let's dive straight into it. The first thing that you'll need is a browser. And in your browser, go to www.superdatascience.com slash R course. And this is the page where all of the data sets for this course are stored. Now, if you scroll down, you'll find the one that we need is under section one, it's called mispriced diamonds. So go ahead and download that and that way you'll be able to follow along with the code in your own computer and have the same insights on your own machine. All right, so we have just six minutes to go. Let's explore the data set. Here we've got three columns. One is carrot, the next one is clarity and price. And these are all diamonds. Every row represents a new diamond. And carrot is its weight, clarity is its clarity and price is the price at which it was sold. And if you scroll down, you'll see that this data set has a lot of transactions. In fact, over 50,000 transactions in just this one data set, which makes it pretty big. And so what are we doing today? Well, let's look at this column clarity over here. It's got some abbreviations and these abbreviations are explained in this chart on the right. So you can see that the eyes mean that there are some inclusions in the data set and uh, in the, in the, diamond and that it isn't uh, pure and then you've got less inclusions less inclusions and less inclusions and it would make sense right that uh, diamonds that are clearer are priced higher should be priced higher than diamonds that are less clear at the same weight in carrots and what we're going to be investigating today is does this relationship between price and clarity always hold true now, we won't be looking at individual diamonds per se. What we're going to be looking at is at statistical averages for clarity. So we're going to want to investigate, does uh, a better clarity always mean that the diamond is going to be priced higher? Or does that relationship sometimes not hold true? And are there mispricings in the market? So it's going to be pretty exciting. And with 50,000 rows, it's going to be pretty challenging. But with the help of R, we'll get there very quickly. We only have four and a half minutes to go. Let's dive straight into our studio. Now, I'm going to type in some code and just follow along. And I won't explain everything uh, in this one tutorial, but you will definitely learn all of this throughout the course. So type in my data, read CSV, and then file choose in brackets and run this line by pressing Control Enter on Windows or Command Return on a Mac. And that will allow you to select the file that you downloaded. If you locate it and select it, what that does is that it loads your data into R. Now we're going to, now that we've loaded the data, we're going to install a package. Uh, and this package will help us visualize the data set. It's called ggplot2. So let's run that line. What you'll see is our studio is going to start downloading this package from the internet and installing it onto your machine. So it's taking a while to think over there. And there you can see the download has started. It's downloading um, this package and all of its components to install into a machine. And over here in the packages tab, you will see that now we have ggplot2 just appeared over there. So now we're going to activate the package by clicking this checkbox. All right, so three minutes left, we're halfway there already. Let's call the function called ggplot and we're going to pass it some variables. Data equals my data, then x, uh, we're going to say aesthetics. And for aesthetics, we're going to say x equals uh, carrot and y equals price. So we're going to create a scatter plot. And here we're going to say plus, um, we want to add points, right? We want to say that we want to have a scatter plot. So we're going to say geom point. So if you run these two lines together now, um, oh, geom point, I forgot the bottom part. There we go, in a rush. All right, so if we run these two together now, you will see that here, we've got the scatter plot for the diamond. So all of the records are illustrated here. And it already looks pretty interesting, but at this stage, it doesn't tell us much because we don't have our third variable, which is clarity here. So let's add it in. I'm gonna put this on a new line to make some space. And here I'm gonna say color equals clarity. And now if I run these three lines together, you will see that the data set, uh, the plot is going to change. It's going to include clarity and we have a, a legend on the right here. So 
Now already we can see that some diamonds are priced higher, some diamonds are priced lower. That's a great start. But the scatter plot is quite cluttered and we've got all these points on the right that are not statistically significant. So first of all, let's make it less clear, uh, more clear. We'll say alpha for some transparency equals 0 0.1. If we run this and we check the time, 1 minute 45 seconds. All right, so we've made some uh, improvements. We can already see the where there's a lot of data and where there's little data. And now we're going to filter out everything to the right of this line, two and a half carats, because it's not statistically significant. It's not gonna help us a lot. So you will learn how to filter inside the course, but for now, just type in my data dollar sign carat less than 2.5 comma nothing. And if you run that, that will filter your data set and leave only the two and a half carats and below. All right, and the last thing that we need here is um, Geom Smooth. So let's add the smoothers so that we can see the averages for these different carrots. So I'm gonna make some space here so that we can see the chart very nicely. All right, we won't need the code that much. So there we go, let's see how much time, 57 seconds. Okay, time to derive insights. Beautiful, that's exactly what we were after. So here you can see that the lines should be in this order. So brown is um, the the best uh, clarity and then the, this red is the worst clarity. So they should be in this order all the time. But wherever they're crossing each other, that means there is mispricing. So you've got some mispricing over here. These lines shouldn't be crossing like that. And then you've got some uh, mispricing over here, right? So some of the lines are crossing over there and some of the lines are crossing over here at the low prices as well. So as we get to the right, you can see that the um, confidence bands are getting greater so that we have less confidence about what's actually going on because of the data set. But nevertheless, we can already tell where what is going on. And you can see how uh, the diamonds are being purchased at one carat, one and a half carat, one and a half carats over there, 0.7 carat, uh, 0.5 and so on. So there we go, just on time, time expired. We have derived some great insights from this data set. It was very, very quick. And as you could see, R is a super powerful tool. With just a few, a couple of lines of code, we were able to build this beautiful visualization, which we can then take to the client or to our managers and explain what exactly uh, was going on in the data set. All right, as you can see, it was all step by step. We slowly built this visualization and that is exactly how this course is organized. You will learn R step by step improving every tutorial one skill at a time and learning a lot. And I can't wait to see you inside the next section. I look forward to seeing you inside the first tutorial and until then, happy coding.